guys a little update I got a chance to take it out today and it's an amazing ride actually it's very solid you don't even hear those clinking away on the, uh, on the bike they're actually so solid you wouldn't even know they're back there uh, the only downside of having the battery packs that low is if you decide to drag your foot underneath the pedal and it'll go underneath that and kind of try and run you over but other than that, uh, these aren't even an issue. I've taken sharp corners at, on uh, curbs, and I never hit the curb, so which I should have. <laughs> uh, anyway, um, surprisingly, this battery here had no issues. Every test ride I took, it just shrugged it off. Those um, eFix Man Lake by Four BMSs are good. They don't even get warm, and the cutoff function works, um, which I'm finding on this battery here. Uh, this one I've had no problems. I thought this one would be the problem with all the tiny 18650 cells, but uh, it's actually a solid battery, so we'll never have to open that. Uh, this one had an issue, but I'm not blaming the batteries. Um, it had premature uh, LBC cutoff, um, which surprisingly they say you can't run these in series. I am, and it didn't blow the other one up or blow this one up, so it's it's done it twice and it's fine. But the issue I'm having is when I brought it in, 3.2, 3.2, all the way down the board, except for this one, which was 2.6. Now, these are not all new. Uh, this is a mixed match of new and previous from the other pack. So what I did is I, you always do this, disconnect the leads from the BMS, put your leads on the battery, charge up to 3.2, uh, as close as I could get it when it was discharged. And then I fully charged the whole pack. And I'm hoping that is enough that they'll start working together. Um, if not, then that's a bad pack. So we'll see how that works out. It's not a big deal. But uh, that controller on that bike is crazy. I mean, I'm twice I've like almost wiped out. I'm not used to the throttle on the thumb throttle. And it's very, very sensitive. And that... that controller is set to the maximum everything it's like instant start and as soon as you touch the throttle the bike lunges so bad it, you feel like you're going to lose the bike so it's going to take some tweaking to get rid of that uh, it'd be funny to set it up where you put everything max and you go here try my bike out see how how quickly someone wipes out on it because it's it's crazy it's it lurches like crazy um i'm looking forward to getting this one on uh, did some work on it today. I'm not really working on the dishing or the truing area of it. Um, they were the right size spokes. As you can see, the end of the spoke is just coming almost flush. Well, not even flush to the end of the nipple. All the way around the board. Across the board, anyway. Um, the issue I had is when I changed all the spokes, I had one side of the rim tighter than the other side, so it was like oval. <laughs> it wasn't good. Um, the trick to it is use some two pieces of tape. This was the low side, and that was the high side. Uh, just used the gauges on the obviously the true stand, and I kept loosening the low side and tightening the high side until they pretty much evened out. It's almost there. You can still see the rim is still got a little bit of a bump there, uh, but if the way things are going. I'll probably have this done tomorrow and uh, look forward to getting it on the bike and trying it out. I mean, it is a hoot with that controller. I can't even imagine what it's going to be like with an extra motor. It's going to be crazy. Um, besides the battery issue, that's it. There's nothing wrong with the bike. It uh, rides pretty good. Um, that's it. Um, hopefully I can get another one done when we get this on the bike. Looking forward to... And uh, we are in this out. Later, guys.